So welcome back to another Behind the Tea. Today we'll be exploring the life of the King of the North, or Daimyo of Sengoku Japan, Date Masamune. Now, before we begin, the first thing that needs to be pointed out is a modern cultural myth on the famous warlord in today's media, and that is Date Masamune's depiction of always wearing an eye patch over one eye that is usually just the guard of a katana. But in all my research and even in a depiction of the daimyo in the official Date clan website, it shows him as not wearing one. There is also little record that says that he ever wore an eye patch, and there are accounts of him specifically requesting that both eyes be painted as is in portrait. That being said, this is going to be a multi-part video, and thus, if I can, I will try to avoid it. But if I can't find a suitable picture of Masamune and use one of him wearing an eye patch, do note it is not historically accurate. So with that, let's begin. Date Masamune was born in Yonezawa Castle in modern Yamagata Prefecture as Date Bontemaru and later was given the name Tojiro. He was the eldest son and heir to Date Terumune, the lord of Rikuzen Mutsu in the Tohoku region. A defining trait of his is of course his lost eye, which he lost to smallpox when he was a child. Many stories surround the loss of the entire organ of the blinded eye, but some say he plucked it out himself when a senior member of the clan pointed out that an enemy could grab it, and another that said that his trusted retainer, Katakura Kojiro, took it out for him. This and his fame to come led many to call him Dokuganryu, or the one-eyed dragon of Oshu. He was married to Tamura Kiyoyaki, at 14, he went on his first military campaign with his father in 1581 against the Soma family, won his first battle at 15, and at the age of 17 succeeded his father, who chose to retire as Lord of the Date. The succession though did not go as smoothly as Masamune wanted, as his own mother, Yoshihime, did not approve of him due to the fact of his lost eye, and she pushed for Masamune's younger brother, Masamichi, to succeed, and allegedly even went as far as to try to poison him. The climax of this crisis was Masamune killing his brother and then disinheriting him for seven generations, so his brother's sons could not be a threat to his line of succession. His mother, on the other hand, fled back home to her home province. Also, shortly after Masamune's succession, a date retainer named Ochi Sadasuna defected to the Ashina clan in the Aizu region which the new lord of the Date declared war on both. This led to expansion of Date lands as the Date went on to conquer the land of Sadasuna's allies in pursuit of the errant lord. Even those of the kin of the errant lord in Mutsu and Dewa provinces. Things were going well until the Date army was forced to retreat at Hibara by the Ashina clan's general, Iwashiro Morikudi. But three months later, Masamune took the Ochi castle at Otemori and executed 800 people of all ages for being traitors. When word of this reached the Ochi at Obama castle, they burned the castle and fled. While this was going on, relations with another clan, the Hatakeyama, who were traditional rivals of the Date, began to get tense. And wanting to avoid a war that the lord of the Hatakeyama, Yoshisugu, felt he would lose, chose to surrender to the Date but was rebuffed. So instead, Yoshisugu turned to Masamune's father, Terumune, to mediate. Masamune then accepted the surrender, but only if the Hatakayama gave up most of their territory to the Date. Thus, with an agreement unable to be reached, Yoshisugu then kidnapped Terumune at Miyamori Castle, where Terumune was staying at the time and when Masamune was out doing falconry. The story goes that during the chase at the Abukuma River, Terumune called out to kill the kidnappers even if it cost him his life, and in the end, it did. Alongside those of the kidnappers, some of whom were captured and tortured. Next time, the orgy of war continues in the north. So, if you like content like this, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.